more reliable uh, and they rush. Actually, and uh, plenty of uh, accounts of it being able to hit targets on the move. So um, um, being able to fire shots accurately on the move is a big benefit for a World War II tank. And they were able to achieve that um, uh, because of the smoother ride. Yeah. Uh, so it, it was revolutionary and... and, and the, it was the arrival of a future that we still have today. The arrangement of the engine, the suspension. Now, torsion bars are brilliant. Um, and for those who, who don't know, it's basically you take two steel bars and you wrap them slightly around each other. And as the weight goes on, they wrap further around each other. Um, and it's a very clever way to do springs, much better than coil springs. Uh, the problem with torsion bars um, that you have to deal with is it occupies a lot of internal volume in the tank. Um, whereas your um, Christie or Horseman, which is an evolution of Christie, which the British used until quite recently, um, all the springs are on the outside of the tank, so they're not taking up space in the. My personal experience with torsion bars, they're a very useful thing to uh, make people carry around for uh, physical training exercises. Oh, uh, okay. yes, because they're just a big, uh, about a three foot length of uh, lump of uh, steel that's just heavy, and you make people carry them and lift them over their heads. And, all and slices of, of torsion bars make excellent gifts mm. at tank festivals. There you go.